my parents came from a very small village in the north of Morocco, very poor, and they migrated. My father was first. He came alone as a young boy. He brought over his family. I came from that village in the, by the sea to Rot Rotterdam. I grew up, and within one, two generations, my whole, I have a total different life from my grandfather. So what I see is that I see that, that this is the power of migration. It's changing uh, people, it's changing generations, it's changing cities. And this change, this is, this is the, the motor of civilization. This is the motor of, of who we are. Change is generated by migration. We do not listen to human beings anymore, uh, but we listen to the politicians. And I think it's dangerous because the politicians, they have their own uh, agenda, hidden agenda. They are concerned about the masses. They're concerned about winning elections. And what happens is that we do not listen to the stories of the migrants themselves. And when you, d when you stop doing that, then the migrants, they become a monolithic group you can, uh, about whom you can have very uh, one-dimensional opinions formed by media and, pol and, 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 and polarization in society and politics. And when that happens, you lose humanity itself. The moment you scratch under the surface of your street, of your town, of your village, you will see migration there. People came in, went away, they came from somewhere. We have to look as migrants, as individuals, as families. We have to expect from these migrants that, that like all human beings, they're taking individual responsibility for what they do. So when we do that, we can also value them in their humanity. The only way for you as a human being to develop is by traveling. The only way for you as a human being to become stronger, richer, m more open and more self-assured uh, 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 self of yourself is by meeting, by understanding that you are yourself a child of migration.